kwa miaka 21 shule hii ya kibinafsi ya Castamil katika mtaa wa Resambo hapa jijini Nairobi imekuwa mstari wa mbele katika kutoa masomo kwa mamia ya wanafunzi shule hii iliyoanza na wanafunzi watatu miongo miwili iliyopita sasa imegeuzwa na kuwa eneo la kibiashara sababu ni adhari ya janga la corona Corona ilisababisha shule hii kufungwa na shule za kibinafsi zilimia pakubwa kutokana na utegemezi wake mkubwa wa karo kutoka kwa wanafunzi tofauti na zile za umma. Kulingana na miliki wa kituo hiki Kimani Njoroge imekuwa changamoto kuendelea na shughuli za masomo haswa kufuatia kanuni za Wizara ya Afya zinazohitajika ili kuendeleza masomo. After running a business for 20 years Starting a new business is not easy because converting into a business center uh, requires a lot of changes in the buildings, uh, in the landscaping. Uh, a classroom cannot be like a shop or an office. So we have had to do a lot of work. It's quite expensive to do that and we have not even finished. Kwa kuwa lisilobudi hubidi, njoroge alazimika kuwa mbunifu ili kukabiliana na mawimbi ya kiuchumi na ndipo akaifanya shule yake kuwa kituo cha biashara. Now we are in a new business which is very different. So we don't even know most of the challenges lying ahead of us. So we are dealing with those challenges on a day to day basis. Mary Kireka ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa shule za kibinafsi mjini Thika anasema kuwa kufungwa kwa shule za kibinafsi kumepelekea wafanyikazi wa shule hizo kama vile madereva, walimu na wapishi kukosa kazi. We are in crisis also as private schools and we are peacemakers. We want these children to pursue their education the right way. Shule za kibinafsi nchini zimesalia kufungwa kutokana mzigo wa kukimu mahitaji ya mishahara ya walimu na wafanyikazi kwa jumla. When free education was introduced, public schools were, could not even accommodate students. We came in handy to support. Why have we been left behind this time? Dan Kaburu K24 weekend